Marine pollution is one of the key issues for our future. Behind me, a prototype developed by European researchers. The goal, detect and analyze in real time possible pollutants in seawater. Hydrocarbons, heavy metals, pesticides, antibiotics. Many harmful substances pollute the sea. But it's currently difficult to detect them efficiently. This robotic boat is at the heart of a European research project. It automatically takes samples. Biosensors on board analyze them in real time. What is special with this boat? Uh, really, the, the fantastic thing on this boat is the biosensor. Uh, what we're using on this particular test at the moment is looking at bacteria that respond to the toxins in the water. And the kind of toxins that this device will measure, they can't be done now unless you go and take a sample and bring it back to the lab. And this means large boats or ships or lots of people and lots of time in the lab. With this, in a matter of hours, we can do what will take a team days to do. Nearby, at the Institute for the Marine Environment of Messina, Researchers are testing the biosensors in this experimental pool. An oil spill has been simulated. This is one of many applications planned for this innovative technology, raising the alarm in case of pollution and assisting with decontamination. There are specific sensors for certain types of hydrocarbons. They will be tested for five days. During this period, we will also stimulate a cleanup, a procedure that is part of the natural emergency plan. And thanks to these biosensors, we can give an early warning, and it will tell us what will be the most suitable strategy to intervene after the oil recovery. So-called lab on a chip miniaturized laboratories are being developed by researchers. They are working on three types of biosensors using either algae, bacteria or antibodies. They react by emitting light. The sensors can be configured for any type of pollutants. Here we have different bacteria in different chambers. When a sample is taken, even as small as a drop of water, it's introduced onto this chip. If we have, for example, a lot of heavy metals in a sample, the bacteria in the middle will produce a large amount of light. If there are very few heavy metals, it'll produce less light. So we can therefore measure the amount of pollutant. Living organisms such as bacteria are able to provide information on the state of the marine environment itself, something which cannot be done with conventional analyses. In fact, chemical analyses do not give us information to help understand how a living organism reacts. Whereas, thanks to biosensors, we are able to assess how the pollutant can become really dangerous, the toxicity of the pollutant, or the general stress state of the marine environment. Finding both more efficient solutions and cost-saving technologies is the challenge to improve monitoring and hence the protection of the marine ecosystem.